So there are absolutely no movies to talk about right now, but there were a bunch of trailers that were released just recently. First, you have the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which... Oh. Oh, it looks so good! All of the characters from my favorite Marvel movie of all time are back, and it looks hilarious, action-packed, and just plain awesome. Also, Baby Groot. Moving on. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. I am Groot. No! There was also a trailer released for the Mummy remake starring Tom Cruise and... Yeah, it looked, it looked interesting, I guess. If you don't know, Universal Studios is trying to do the whole Avengers thing with all of their monster characters by making a bunch of movies and having them all set in the same universe. It's a cool idea, but I think I'll need to see more to get really interested. Although that Tom Cruise scream was pretty incredible. <laughs> However, that's not what we're talking about today. While those two trailers were cool and all, there's not really much to talk about. The trailer for the new Transformers movie, on the other hand, whoa, there was a lot to talk about there. The Transformers franchise has always been an interesting franchise to me. I didn't really watch the show, even though I watched clips of it here and there, but I actually really liked the first three live action movies. The first Transformers movie I actually think is legitimately good. It's got overall likable characters, great action, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's just overall a ton of fun. I also like Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, but not because it's good, it's actually pretty terrible, but I do have a lot of nostalgic attachment to it, and I do think it's a good enough so bad it's good movie, and it's just a movie you can watch to turn your brain off and have fun. And then Transformers Dark of the Moon was overall a decent movie, it wasn't as good as the first one, but it was better than the second one, and yeah, it's solid. And then we get to Transformers Age of Extinction, which as the title suggests, is where this franchise should have died. It is so bad. It is so bad. The characters are way more obnoxious than usual, which is really saying something. The action is bland and forgettable. The special effects are absolutely atrocious. The dialogue is awful. The story makes no sense. It took itself way too seriously. And it's easily one of Michael Bay's worst films. However, it made a ton of money at the box office, so a sequel was inevitable. Which leads us to Transformers The Last Night. Even though the last one was bad, I'm interested to see what they do, so let's check it out. It has been said, through the ages, without sacrifice, there can be no victory. A quick question, what? So, within the first 10 seconds of a trailer, there are knights, dragons, and Nazis. I I'm sorry, this, this is the trailer for Transformers, correct? This isn't a trailer for like Game of Thrones or some history drama. This is actually supposed to be Transformers. I don't think a trailer has ever left me this confused this quickly. What on earth do knights and Nazis have to do with Transformers? Michael Bay was probably in the writer's room like, hey, you know what we need to save this franchise? Knights and Nazis. Yeah, that's what we need. That'll do it. What are we talking about? Why are we here? Why is this movie getting made? We should just stop. Last I checked, there were no cars back in the Middle Ages and there were barely any cars in the 1940s, so like, what, what, just, why are there knights and Nazis? Okay, moving on. We have a really cool voiceover from Anthony Hopkins, who's apparently in this movie, and I think that's great. Anthony Hopkins is a legendary actor, he can do anything. He could read the script for the B movie and make it sound good. Speaking of stupid things, why is the B movie popular right now? Apparently the internet thinks the B movie is the best thing ever right now. There are hundreds of videos that are going super viral that are just edited versions of the B movie. But why? It's not so good where it can be considered this underrated classic, and it's not so bad where it could qualify as so bad it's good, so why has it become so popular? Hayden. I d what do you want, sister? Are you going to review the B-movie? I d No! Why not? Because I don't want to talk about things that are stupid. I mean, I do, I just don't want to talk about things that are knights and Nazis in a Transformers movie levels of stupid. Stupid stuff like asking that one girl in your class to go on a date even though she probably would have rejected you and she's way out of your league. 
<laughs> so you just told everyone your deepest, darkest secret? Dude, <laughs> come on. I think you're overreacting a little bit. You must be so embarrassed. <laughs> do me, do me, do me. And then we see this big planet type thing, which I'm guessing is supposed to be Unicron. If you're not a nerd and you don't know who Unicron is, he's basically a Death Star Transformer from the TV show. He's pretty cool, so if they do him in a movie right, I think that could be pretty interesting. The real money shot of this trailer comes at the end, though. You see everyone's favorite two characters, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, look like they're about to fight, and then... Forgive me. No! I mean, I'm guessing this is gonna be a big plot point, like Optimus Prime has been poisoned or manipulated into doing something bad, but it's still so upsetting! I mean, Optimus Prime is one of the coolest characters ever. Regardless of what you think of the movies or the show or any of that, he is awesome. Awesome character design, awesome voice. He's just amazing. And I also really like Bumblebee. What, what so every time I say B, the B movie poster's gonna, gonna pop up? Okay. This is so stupid! But yeah, anyway, Bumblebee is really cool. He's a really cool character, he's very interesting, he's very likable, and he's one of the few things in the franchise that has managed to consistently stay good throughout all the movies, even the bad ones. And I swear, if Optimus Prime kills the one thing that has always been good in every Transformers movie, I'm gonna be ticked. Randy Orton's watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! So that's really the Transformers trailer, and while there are a lot of things in it that seem very strange and kind of dumb, it still looks way better than the last one. I put emphasis on looks though, because Age of Extinction failed almost on every level, including a technical level, but at least this one looks nice, the CGI looks better, the cinematography is better, the action looks better. So at least from a technical standpoint, it looks like an improvement. So while I'm not completely sold on it, I'm willing to give it a shot. I just really hope that it's gonna be good. Ah! So yeah, that's all I got. I made it and I like movies. See you guys later. So, so stupid!